there are at least three reasons why I believe you should watch this video. So the first reason is that I'm going to show you a data analytics workflow end to end from the collection of data to the visualization of insights so that you can truly understand how data professionals work in a company. And we will use a combination of different tools. We use uh, Google BigQuery, SQL, Google Sheets, and one more tool that I will reveal in just a second so that you can also see how different tools can be combined to work in data analytics. The second reason is that I'm going to show you one tool and skill set that is really in high demand right now, as you can see in many job postings, but not many people have it on their profile. So it can become one of those skills that make you stand out if you're applying for jobs. And the last reason is that obviously you can take inspiration from what I'm showing you in this video for your own projects, which you can then add to your portfolio. So if you are convinced by all of this, then let me show you what I have for you today. Okay, so the first thing we need to do for our data analytics project is obviously to get some data to analyze. This time I don't want to grab a random data set from the internet, I want data from a real world platform that most people are familiar with. For this example, I use data from a store I created on Shopify, the hugely popular platform for building online shops and selling products. Now, because I have data sitting in Shopify and I want to build analytics and insights around it, I need a way to move that data into my database so that I can analyze it. So this is a very common situation in any company. You need to transfer data from a business application into the database you use for analysis. One way to do that is to use the Shopify API and code a custom data pipeline workflow that extracts data from Shopify and ingests it into the database. The problem of this approach is that I would first have to learn the Shopify API, understand how Shopify structures its backend data, and then write the entire extraction tool, something that can take a lot of time. A great alternative is Fivetron, which is a tool where I can set up a connection in under 10 minutes, as opposed to doing it myself, which could easily take between 10 and 20 hours. And the magic of Fivetron is its huge library of 700 pre-built data connectors that are truly plug and play. Instead of wasting time figuring out how to get data from Shopify to my database, I can let Fivetron handle the whole thing for me. And by the way, I've decided to partner with Fivetron for this video simply because it's a tool that it's making my life so much easier in my day-to-day -day work. And also because it makes me not only a strong data analyst, but it gives me a solid foundation of data engineering skills as well. And so technically, I'm covering a wider range of data skills at the same time. Knowing Fivetron is in high demand right now, simply because so many companies are using it, including the ones that you see now in the screen. And in case you want to try it yourself, you can use the link that you see in the video description below. I think the easiest way to get started is to choose a connector they have, or simply connecting your Google Drive or Google Sheet to uh, test the upload of your data from there to a database like BigQuery. So with the first step of our data engineering process clear, let me show you how easy it is to set up a connector that transfer data from Shopify to my database, in this case, Google BigQuery. Okay, so I quickly created an account in Fivetron and this is the uh, platform Fivetron from the inside. So what I'm interested in right now is the connection tab. So I'm gonna click on add connection from the top right and then I'm going to select Shopify. So I'm gonna click on setup. The destination is the uh, BigQuery destination where I want to transfer all the data coming from Shopify. So Lore test works for me. So I'm going to select this one. And then the, the cool thing about uh, any connectors is that you see here the, the Shopify one, there is for each of the connectors a pretty clear setup guide. So in case you are you know, wondering how to create the connection, these are all the steps and documentation. So I'm just gonna populate the stuff that is missing from here. So destination schema Shopify, so that works with me. Sync data from the selected date. Uh, let's say that I want data for all the historical data. So I'm just gonna select that. And then shop name, is, uh, shop name is automatic. And then I see, click here to install the Fivetron app from the Shopify app store. So click on that link, then click on open. Okay, so it redirects me to my Shopify account. So this all works for me. So I'm just gonna click on update. And then I'm back on Fivetron now. So let's redo the steps for the connection. And then right now I see the uh, click here to authorize the API. So I'm just gonna click on authorize. So I'm just gonna give all the permissions for Fivetron to connect to Shopify. Authentication succeeded. So let's do now the save and test. All right, so all connection tests passed. So I'm gonna click on continue. Okay, so here, yeah, I also have a, a option to select the quick start data model. This is not something that I'm interested in right now. So I'm just gonna click on, I'll, stu I'll do this later. And then now I can uh, start all the sync of my data. So I'm just gonna keep that at selection and start initial sync. And from the top right, I'm gonna click on sync now. And now the data is syncing from my Shopify store. 
using Fivetran into my BigQuery. Okay, so I'm in Google BigQuery now and the Fivetran sync completed in a few minutes. And then in here, it basically uh, what Fivetran did was creating this folder called uh, Fivetran test. And in here, we have all the data coming from my Shopify store, but we're gonna see that uh, just in, a, in the next steps. Okay, and so once I've set up the connection from Shopify to BigQuery, I can open the Fivetran connection dashboard to check the status, review the schema and see all the tables and fields coming in from Shopify. I can also adjust the setup to define how frequently the data should refresh, all handled automatically. Now that the connection is live, I can head to uh, Google BigQuery where I see a Shopify schema with a large uh, set of tables built from uh, Shopify data. From here, I can then write SQL in Google Cloud to analyze the data. Okay, so I'm inside Google Cloud BigQuery and as you can see here from the left-hand side screen, I can open the Fivetran test folder and under Shopify, I have the long list of tables that have been created by Fivetran. And so the first thing that I can do, I have some uh, SQL queries that are ready to go here. Obviously, the first thing I want to see is that we get some data and can we, we can query some, some sort of data from the database. As you can see here, I'm just simply doing a select star from Fivetran and I'm selecting from the order table. As you can see in the bottom, I just run the query. The query is running and I get some data from my shop. So that's uh, that's good. Now I can uh, go ahead and like do some quick analysis. So for example, I can check the total number of orders. So again, I'm using the same table, the order table. So let, let's do a select count and then I'm gonna uh, count the distinct ID. I'm gonna call this column total orders. And so let's run this query here. Yeah, so we got 10 orders it seems. And then I can go ahead with the next query here. So let me run this one here. So this one is simply getting the total number of products sold. So this time we are uh, querying from the order line table. I'm basically just getting the sum of the quantity. I'm gonna call this column total products sold. And we got 22 products sold. Then um, another interesting part obviously is get in the total amount of revenue that I'm getting in, uh, in my Shopify shop. And so again, from the order line table, I'm getting the sum of the price. So I'm gonna call this total revenue. We have 2278. Let's do something maybe a, a bit more kind of a, a bit more advanced. Let's, for example, get our order summary order by the total amount. So this time I'm gonna get um, some information from the order table, specifically the, the name, the, the order name, but then the price uh, will get this from the order line uh, table. So I'm just gonna join them together using the ID column. So let's run this query here. I'm um, actually gonna, I'm getting an error. So let's see, um, yeah, obviously because this is not the correct name. So let me just adjust the order by. So this should work now. Yeah, so I just have the list of order name and order total amount in the sending order. So this is the, the order that got the, the highest um, kind of amount, highest um, revenue. Then something else that I can do is another kind of detailed table on all orders, all the products sold, the quantity and the total amount. So let's try to run this query here. Again, I'm simply joining the two tables, the order and the order line table. And in here, just getting a bit more details because I'm also getting the product name for each of the each of the orders with the quantity and the, the line amount. And then, um, yeah, a few, few other queries. So this uh, is pretty similar. So just getting a summary of the uh, orders from the order table. This time I just uh, wanna see the sales by the, the order date. Uh, and also by the order name. Probably the last thing that I wanted to show you, I also want to see the revenue and the orders by the hour of the day, simply because uh, in the query that I just ran, I see that the order date is pretty much the same. So it's the 11th of March, 2025. So pretty much it seems all orders happen in that day. So maybe it's interesting to see on that day how the, the orders are distributed by hour of day. And so in this case, I'm uh, because I'm uh, in London time, I also want to convert the created at, which is the, the timestamp uh, field that we have in the table, into the uh, Europe London uh, time zone. So that's what I'm doing here. Extra tower from date time, create it at, and I'm gonna specify Europe London. And then, yeah, let's try to run this query here. I can see that the order hour, so 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., and now I have the total revenue, order count, 
by hour uh, of the day. Okay, so pretty happy with the uh, with these uh, SQL queries, and then this would be a simple basis for my dashboards uh, later on. Okay, so we got some cool insights about my Shopify store. So next, I want to present this data in a more visual way because the analysis is not that complex, and because Google Sheets integrate directly with the query, I will use Google Sheets. Even though when you're using Fivetran and your company, you would typically model the data into a BI tool like Tableau, Power BI, or Looker. And I can even embed my SQL queries to drive the visualizations I need, and I will show you this in, uh, in just a second. Okay, so what I've done here is simply creating a Google Sheet and just uh, calling it Test Google Sheet Shopify. Went ahead and I have a few tabs, but I'm gonna show you exactly what I've done so far. The first thing to do for uh, basically connecting Google Sheet with uh, BigQuery, which is my database, is actually going to data, and I'm gonna go under data connectors, and you can see connect to BigQuery. So I'm gonna do just that. Fivetron test, which is the name of our connection. I'm gonna uh, choose the Shopify folder. And in this case, I don't wanna uh, select uh, basically the whole table. I'm actually gonna go into saved queries at the end the BigQuery query editor. Basically in here, I can paste my queries and it will basically uh, connect automatically to my database. So let me go back to BigQuery. Let me get actually this query here. So I'm just gonna copy this query. I'm gonna paste it in here. I'm just gonna wait a second, so it seems that it's fine, and I'm gonna click on connect. Okay, everything, uh, the, the data is connected. I'm just gonna close this tab here. And it basically created this tab here called connected sheet five. Basically now I see the kind of the result of the query in here. And then this one here, then I can start kind of uh, formatting in a kind of a more pretty way for, for my dashboard. So I'm gonna actually click on chart because I already created a kind of a bit of a dashboard. Just gonna click on existing sheet in here. Let me go to the exact location. I'm just gonna explain to you this in a second. So I'm just gonna click on uh, this cell here randomly. So let me create it in here. This is the space for my chart. I just gonna uh, select the chart type and I'm just gonna um, use the scorecard chart. And then I'm gonna drag, uh, drag and drop total product sold into key value. Okay, that's fine. And then let me see if I'm gonna go to customize. Yeah, I can do the chart title. So let's say dot uh, products sold. Okay, and then I'm going to click on apply. Now I have the, the right number and this can be a metric, a chart that I can now move around in my dashboard. So let's see if I put it here. Just gonna adjust the size of this one. I mean, I can do obviously way more advanced than this for for my for my dashboard, but this is just to give you an idea of what I've done so far. So I've created this tab called Quick Dashboards, and basically using the the connection that I made in, uh, in the way that I, I showed you, I connected to my BigQuery. I run my uh, SQL query, and this is the results that is showing up to in, into my dashboard. So you see now total orders, total revenue, total products sold, kind of a uh, key metrics at the top. And also I wanted to show the uh, amount that it, the re revenue that we make in the shop by uh, time uh, of the day. So 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., the ones that I showed you before in BigQuery. Yeah, this is kind of a, an example of a very quick dashboard that you can do using connection to uh, Google BigQuery inside Google Sheet. So as you can see in just five to 10 minutes, I have a simple dashboard in Google Sheets showing key insights from my Shopify store. And this is a practical example of what happens in the workplace. As a data analytics lead, I often extract data from applications with Fivetron, load it into our database and build the analytics and reports for the business needs. Fivetron connectors are powerful and cover most applications you have heard of. And on the rare occasion that a connector is missing, you can build your own with Fivetron Fivetron Connector SDK. You can write a bit of a Python, hook into any platform's API, and deploy your custom connector to Fivetron. And this way you can still get the data into your database pretty fast and without needing help from data engineers or more technical people. And there you have it, a simple step-by-step -step data analytics project that you might want to take inspiration from and that can really boost your uh, profile and the way that you work with data overall. As always, if you found at least one useful information in this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that I can help you even further in the next videos. And in case you want a video to learn more about my predictions for the future of data analytics, make sure to check it out out here at the link that you see in the screen and while well, enjoy the rest of your day, chat for now and see you in the next one.